Hey guys, Han Yolo here with another beer video. This time I have a beer from High Branch Brewing, uh, McGill Avenue, a hazy IPA at 7% ABV because I never do IPAs on this channel, right? Um, uh, I've never had anything from High Branch before. Uh, it looks like the beer's name is actually the road that the brewery or tap room is uh, on as well. I'm assuming the brewery, right? Um, can art, super simple, man. Orange, everything, white text, and a couple lighter orange leaves. Very uh, simple can, but you know, simple is good, man. Simple is good. There's nothing wrong with that. So let's get this into a glass. See what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. And my dog is pacing around, so uh, hopefully I don't have to light him out. Oh snap! All right, so this kind of is very overfilled, actually. I just took a sip of it, and it's still like filled to the very top. I'm gonna go wipe my floor and clean my hand up and then I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. Just cleaned up the floor. This thing is very, very filled, man. Um, I'm actually not sure of the canning date. There is no canning date. So I'm not quite sure how old this is, but like this is, I took a sip out of it. It's literally still to the very top of that lid. Um, all right, let's get this into a glass. Hopefully uh, I don't spill anymore. There we go, nice. It is extremely hazy. Extremely hazy. It smells pretty good too, actually. Uh, so I pour it with about, I'm gonna say, a finger, maybe a little bit more than a finger of head. This is straight, straight juice looking. Um, again, a mixture of orange and uh, pineapple juice. It just looks like straight juice in the head. Uh, slightly yellow, very foamy, very frothy head. Nothing too much to say about it. Can super small condensed uh, bubbles. Putting it to the light, straight up looks like juice, man. Just in our hazy IPA. Hopefully uh, the taste of my dog is freaking out. What are you doing? Um, hopefully it tastes, you know, nothing like the other ones. Hopefully not super uh, citrus for but you know, you get other flavors as well. Um, yeah, let's get the aroma. All right, so first off, what's up, Colby? Go, go play, dude. One sec. All right, so anyways, first off, you get a lot of citrus on this, man. Uh, pineapples, I think. It's kind of, actually, the aroma of this is kind of hard to get. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get for some reason. Definitely citrus and pineapples. A little dank in there, too, a little dankness. Maybe slight peaches. I think swirling it kind of helps a little bit. But that's about it, man. You get dankness, peaches, citrus, and pineapples. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. It's it's very very creamy. No, I wouldn't say very very. I said very twice. Uh, take it back. It's creamy, but not creamy plus plus. <laughs> uh, that was a joke from one of my older videos. Mouth feels on point, man, but the flavor, the flavor is weird. I can't, can't tell what it is. Like the flavor is really weird. You definitely get citrus and pineapple, so I can tell you that. And on the finish, you definitely get like underripe, I suppose, uh, mangoes, when the mangoes are like kind of harder and not slimy and uh, not soft. That's kind of what you get on the back end there. And then it's extremely, extremely dry, man. Extremely dry. One of the driest beers I've ever had, actually. Definitely get some, some pith in there. You definitely get some orange pith. Maybe a little bit of like lemon pith too. Towards the end, it's actually decently bitter for a beer that looks like this and advertised as a New England style, uh, IPA uh, or hazy IPA, yeah, hazy IPA, New England, whatever, same thing. Um, it's actually fairly bitter, man, and it's really dry. So imagine a uh, West Coast IPA that's super hazy, you know, has the appearance down and like it's just bitter towards the end there, uh, with all those fruit flavors in like towards the front, and then it's just like completely bitter towards the end and extremely dry. <clears throat> That's exactly what this is. Kobe, what, what is it, dude? What is it? Go play, go play. One second. Um, sorry, my dog's 
getting all antsy and stuff and wants to play. Um, but yeah, man, it's and the dankness. There's very very light dankness on this on the palette at least, um, even lighter than what I get on the nose. But overall, I'm gonna say this is a. Uh, it's not a bad bump. It's definitely very dry. The driest IPA I've ever had, probably. Um, at 7%, it does not drink like 7%. I guess um, it's not quite tor or in that double uh, range, but it, it drinks really well, man. Like, it's not the best IPA I've ever had, but it's also not the worst. Yeah, you definitely get a lot of citrus, a lot of pith, too. And it kind of fades out to that pithy pineapple, um, slight dankness, and then it's just incredibly dry. Um, not too much else to say about this. I definitely check out new or high branch brewing if you guys live in uh, North Carolina. Uh, this is my first time having them. Hopefully, it won't be the last. Uh, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos. Comment, leave, leave them below. And as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers.